Hey everyone, Cordell here with uh, Mexico Beach Life Club and doing something totally new. And I, I want to continue to do what I'm doing right now is to um, introduce you to certain people that can answer questions that you may have regard to all-inclusive resorts. And as I always say, my niche is in Mexico. And today I have Denise with me. And what I've done, uh, everyone, is I have a list of questions that I want to ask her. And then she's going to feel free to take control and elaborate on certain things that she may feel fit. Um, and so, as I mentioned, it's, it's going to be on YouTube, so you can post the questions on YouTube. I try to go in there and answer questions as well. So, Cordell, once again, Denise. All right, so we can get right into it, Denise. So the first question I have is, um, what resort do you represent, its location, and how did you get started working as a wedding coordinator? Thank you. Thank you, Cordell, for the opportunity and for this invite. I work with Dream Sapphire. We are located in Puerto Morelos, Mexico, so just 20 minutes away from the airport, which is good. And well, I started as a wedding coordinator, so I've been here for seven years, almost eight. And I used to see like the weddings being performed, and I wanted to join this team. So that's why I started three, almost four years ago in the weddings department. And so did you do any other roles or was it strictly wedding coordinator within yeah, the resort? So I started as wedding coordinator. I am now uh, the associate weddings manager. So you will be in contact with me in case you want to book your wedding. I'll be more than glad to answer your questions, share my insight and pictures about our venues. All right, great. And I don't know if you guys know, but um, so the AMR brand resorts there are there's different niches within it. Uh, Denise and I were talking about it. You know, some are small, some are adults only, some are family oriented. So it all depends on what you guys uh, want to do. Just want to throw that out there. Um, <clears throat> second question is, there are a lot of options to get married at all inclusive resorts in Mexico. Uh, why would a couple choose your resort to get married? Well, as you said, we are a family friendly hotel or family oriented. However, we also have the adult side at the preferred pool and different restaurants. So in my opinion, what is the best thing about our hotel are the wedding packages, the wedding locations, and uh, almost, yes, all the wedding packages have this cash back. So the more you book, the more you get. That's one of the greatest things that we have. And the packages are very attractive. They have like an introductory uh, pr promotion or pricing, and then you can add more people towards the packages. Now, you mentioned preferred. I know about preferred club. Do you want to elaborate on what that means? Yes, yeah, so the preferred club is an option. Like we have different levels of the room categories, starting from the standard room, which is the deluxe tropical view. And then we have the preferred tropical view, preferred club tropical, um, well, the family suite. We have the preferred ocean front. We have our newest rooms that are the swim outs, master suites, and the ambassador. So the good thing about the preferred club is that it's uh, like you pay a small amount to just um, upgrade to the different category and you get more benefits. It's like the access to the preferred pool areas, which includes the preferred lounge, the preferred pool, restaurant, and the locations. Of course, that's, I think that's the prime. So you get prime location in the buildings that are closer to the beach area. Yeah. So it's like being a VIP. Right, exactly. It's like VIP. Yeah. All right. Nice. Um, this is a obvious question. We're, we're filming this right now in December 28, 2022. It's a huge storm going. I'm in California, so I don't have to worry about the snow like it is back east. I don't, I can't. Yeah, that's another question, another topic. I don't see how people live out there. Uh, I couldn't do it. Um, hope I didn't say nobody, but it is what it is. Um, when is high season to get married at the resort and how many weddings do you have on average a week? <clears throat> so the high season, I would say it's May because of the weather and also November. Yes, because okay. you get like less chance of rain and there is this hurricane season from May to November. So I would say that those are the high seasons uh, that we have for weddings and we usually have like eight to 10 weddings per week. Okay, so you you are in Puerto Morelos, right? Yes. Which is about twenty minutes south of Cancun. 
Right, Cancun Airport, yes. Okay. And what is the name of the resort again? It's called Dream Sapphire Resort and Spa. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And so naturally, low season or high season, the high season more expensive, the low season less expensive. That's with anything, it's obvious. Now, um, earlier you talked about, so on, on average, how many do you have though a week when it's high season? When it's high season, like eight to 10 per week. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Yes. And how big is your how big is your wedding crew to help facilitate everything, coordinate? So we have a very good um, team, and it's composed by two wedding coordinators, one assistant, the uh, the associate weddings manager, it's me, and our weddings manager. So we can do like two day two weeks. I'm sorry, two weddings per day, and which makes like a total of eight to ten per week. So it's almost okay. every day. Like every day is great to get married when you are abroad and when you are on holiday. <laughs> I bet, man. Glad we have computers to keep us organized. Uh, I can't imagine doing it all on paper. <laughs> um, so you mentioned about um, earlier about wedding packages. Um, those packages are, aren't they based upon like how many people is in a wedding or how, how does that all work? Right. So and what are the costs? Yeah, so we have wedding packages. For example, in my opinion, the one that has everything is the ultimate package. It is $37.99 and it's for 20 people. It includes the ceremony, one hour cocktail, and three hours reception. This is a private wedding um, ceremony, cocktail, and reception. It's for 20 people. It also includes the mariachi trio for the cocktail hours so that you can have this Mexican flair for your wedding guest. And well, the dinner is for, for course dinner. We have open bar included, and we include the tables, table setting, and the chairs. Okay. Flowers are also included, <clears throat> like for the wedding couple, one bouquet, three boutonnieres, two corsage, and two centerpieces are included as well. All right, okay. Um... What about when it comes to the woman and their hair, makeup? How does that? Oh, it is there? also included, and it includes a couple's massage as well. So, the hair and makeup is included for one member of the wedding couple, and also the couple's massage, so they can relax. Either it can be before the wedding event or after. Oh, okay. Um, what about music and decorations? How does that work? So for music, we have the cocktail hour, we have the mariachi trio for the ceremony. It includes sound system so that you can play the songs that you would like to walk down to. And the reception, you can hire a DJ. All right. All right. So with the DJ, you give them a list of music or how does that work? Do they yes, say it's very easy like to work. Music? So my suggestion is always to, to give us like a list of music that you would like to play so that the DJ can get to know you or your music preference and he can mix along. So that's how it, it usually works. You can also let us know you like your first dance, the song for the announcement, song for the wedding cake, et cetera. Okay. Um, in regards to the uh, wedding vows, can, can couples customize your wedding vows? Absolutely, yes. So we provide an officiant as part of the wedding package. We can uh, introduce you to our officiant and they usually explain like the order of the ceremony and then you can customize the wedding vows so that you can make it like more personalized, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know sometimes when people get married, but now I don't know if it's, if it's 20 people. If it's a big wedding, sometimes they have like a website and the website has like the wedding gifts and the announcements and all the directions and all the details listed. Is there like a website that you guys provide or something that you can give to them to help like advertise it or promote the wedding? So, well, we don't have a website per se. We do have the honeymoon registry so that you can register yourselves. And you can put your names, your wedding date, and the resort that you're getting married at so that you can put in your invitations or your invites, yes. And people can give you like money towards tours, spa, 
I don't know, like romantic dinners, something like that. So it's honeymoon okay. registry. All right. Yeah. Um, how far in advance do couples need to give their uh, deposit? So the deposit for the for the wedding, right? So mm -hmm. we require the deposit to be put down as soon as you start working with us so that you can have the coordinator working with you right away. So the deposit varies. For example, for this ultimate package is just $500 and it's refundable if you wish to cancel with six months in advance. All right. Uh, let's see here. Okay, videos and photographers. Is that part of the package or is that separate? So, you know, for the ultimate package, I forgot to mention that one hour photo is included and 50 digital pictures in color are included as well as, well as a printed album and one hour video wow. for the ceremony. So if you want, wow. you can maybe add more, of course, with, with an extra charge, but it includes like it's based with one hour photo and one hour video. Do you put that like on box and email it to them and they can download it and keep it like how yes, you transfer exactly. the pictures? They actually like they get to choose the picture. So we will take or the photographers will take like 500, I don't know, if more. And then the wedding couple can select their their pictures. OK. Um, so the part of the package you mentioned, there's like a reception, which is about an hour. I think you scored that. A I don't know if you said one hour. So, okay, you have the wedding and you have the reception. Like how how long is each for like so the this, ultimate package? The ceremony usually takes like 30 minutes. So it's nice and, and quick. And then one hour cocktail and three hours reception. So in total, let's say that we take like a full hour for the ceremony, one hour for the cocktail and three hours for the reception. So this is like a five hours total. Okay. Um, now, I know that you mentioned in when it's high season, you have like probably two weddings a day. What does the layout look like for the weddings where people get married? Is that, is that a location in back of you, an actual location? Yeah, this location is Vista del Mar. So our resort, it's very wide and in my opinion, it's like spread out. So the wedding uh, venues, they are very separate one from the other. So you, you don't get to feel that there is another wedding happening mm -hmm. on that very okay. same day. So the, the layout of the resort is very, it's, it's very ample. So let me check if I have a picture right here. Sure. So we can do the... The interview mm -hmm. and so I would say that that you don't get to feel that you are having another wedding at the same time so let's let's share let me share with you the my website or my my screen okay sure. awesome okay so here's where we have Vista del Mar which is on the far end of the property. And this is where my pergola that you're looking at the back of me is. We All have right. okay. the preferred pool, which is the adults only pool in the morning and after 5 p.m. becomes a private venue. It's right here. So when you see it in the map, it might look close, but this the resort is very spread out. And this is beach terrace. So as you can see, like we have different venues, but they are not like very close to each other and you don't feel like crap. Yeah. And I think in my opinion, that's what we 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 love most about the weddings. So you don't feel like it's right next to the other. What do the hearts represent? The surface? Yeah, I see pictures of hearts, red hearts on the map. What does that mean? Oh, the red hearts. So this is like a romantic area. It's like the beach area. We can have romantic dinners there. Got it. Okay. All right. Uh, thanks for sharing. It helps visualize. Let's see. Um, do you provide transportation from the airport or, or is it complimentary? 
So we do provide transportation from the airport. We work with a company, a sister company that is called Amstar, or you can provide the transportation when you book the, the reservations. Okay. Um, what are the local marriage requirements? The local marriage requirements, well, we offer three kinds of ceremonies. It's the legal, the symbolic, and the Catholic. So for the requirements for the for the legal requirements, it's a bit more complex in Mexico rather than than in the states. So you need to arrive four days before. You need to have um, for witnesses that arrive four days before. You need to do um, blood test and you need to sign some paperwork. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, uh, the it will be performed by a judge. Now the symbolic. It will be performed by a minister or an officiant, and you just need to arrive two days before. We don't request any of the mentioned previously, and you don't have to be married. Actually, this is the, the kind of ceremonies that we do like 99%, and it's because the like it, it's, it, it's very easy. And also for people that don't know that you are not married, they don't feel like it's a symbolic ceremony because you will be telling your vows and you actually get to sign a certificate, which is symbolic so that people can feel that this is like a legal wedding. And then you can get married. But it's not a, but it's not a it's, so it's not a legal thing. So you can't come back home and say, I'm, I'm married, but you really are not because you're not legally married. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. So you can get married wow. back home. So it's oh, easy. And, uh, and for the Catholic okay. wedding, well, that's that's something we offer. We have a chapel inside and you need to go to your local parish and process all the paperwork. And we need that three months before. So we have these three kinds of ceremonies that we can perform. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, what is the process the wedding party wants to do in a, a trip excursion? Let's say, okay, it's 20 people, day after wedding. Now we want to go out and explore. What yeah. what options do you do you have? So that's something that that we have seen in the past that people do. Like after the wedding, they go to a catamaran or they go to this Isla Mujeres, which is an island in Cancun mm -hmm. or Cozumel. And it's it's awesome. Can, uh, I mean, you get to spend time with your loved ones in a different setting, more casual and relaxed. And uh, again, we have our sister company that it's called Amstar, and they can help you arrange everything, like from transportation to the catamaran to the transportation back to the resort. Usually, these tours include food, beverage, so you don't have to worry about anything. And I just want to add uh, also to everyone listening on my website, Mexico Beach Life Club, I have a section about AMSTAR, and they are affiliated with AMR Resort to Dream to them. Um, and I can help get things coordinated for you on that end. All right. Um, uh, and and la I think, well, two last questions. In, in your opinion, what, what takes a successful uh, wedding to go smoothly? I would say seen? that, in my opinion, I would say that the planning the planning is what makes a successful wedding and a smooth wedding. And as mentioned, when you put the deposit down, you immediately get assigned a wedding coordinator so you can start working with them. Some Sometimes in other properties, you don't get a wedding coordinator assigned until three months out. But here at Dream Sapphire, the minute you get the deposit down, you you receive a confirmation and you can start working with your coordinator. You can do Zoom calls. We have the WhatsApp. So we have all the tools to be connected and to work with you and make this planning successful. Nice. All right. Um, any, any last words you have? Anything else you want to say or have them contact you? Yeah. Show is yours. What do you have to say? Yes, thank you. Thank you, Cordell, for the opportunity again. And if you have any questions, you can get back to Cordell or send me an email. We can arrange uh, like a video call or video tour of the property. And we would love to have you as our wedding couples here at Dream Sapphire Resort and Spa to make your dream wedding come true. Yes, and I'll have contact information within the description of this video. And like I said, I, I plan on doing more things like this. 
And um, if there's any questions you have, please put them out there. And uh, thank you for your time, everyone. And make it a point to go out and visit, um, explore Mexico. It's beautiful. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you for checking out the interview that I had with Denise with Sapphire of Dreams. One way that I go about of looking up pictures and getting an idea of directions and locations, I use Google. So in this example, you can do the same. You can copy what I'm doing, put in Dream Sapphire or Morelos on the right hand side. I'm going to click on see photos. I'll click view all. And if I go to location, it's going to show me where it's at. So you can get a visual of where it's located. And on left hand side, top sites, restaurants, airport information. And if I go to the video, I mean to, to photos, I'm able to look at photos, what the resort looks like. So in case you're ever curious to know what it's like, it's one thing to hear what somebody says, but to see see it is you know, pictures worth a thousand words, as they say. So uh, enjoy. And as I mentioned, I plan on making more videos and interviewing more people when it comes to Mexican resorts at all inclusive. I mean, all inclusive resorts in Mexico, beach towns. My website, Mexico Beach Life Club, you can actually fill out information. I'll get it and then I can start the process of getting information for you for prices and air reservations, et cetera. All right, thank you for your time and see you later.